In this tutorial, I'm going to give you an introduction into how to get the net present value of a set of cash flows. So basically how to discount them from the future to now. And it's really pretty easy. You just use the NPV function in Excel. So uh, before I do that, let me just explain what I have here. I've got a set of cash flows here. And I have period zero and period zero there's an outlay of cash so say you're considering doing a project but you have to buy a machine first and we're going to assume that all of these are in millions so first you have to buy a ten million dollar machine and uh, that's why you have this negative number here before the first year and then you've got all of the cash flows or the anticipated cash flows for the years afterwards so this is an assumption that they uh, are actually doing pretty well. Now to get the MPV from this, you really only need a couple things. You need the cash flows, which in reality are pretty difficult to get to depending on what you have. I just made these up. Um, so once you have the cash flows, you only need a rate. Now what I have here for the rate is I have an example of a nominal rate, a real rate, and also I gave the inflation. So the thing is, you can just put a rate in, or say you're given the nominal discount rate, but you need to find the real discount rate. How do you do that? Or vice versa. Well, if you want to go from nominal to real, it's a very simple formula. It's just uh, 1 plus the nominal inflation rate over 1 plus the inflation rate or 1 plus the nominal rate divided by 1 plus the inflation rate and then minus 1 for the whole thing and that's going to give you the real rate so you also have to have the inflation there and this is pretty high so let me put it at 3 and from there you can do your NPV calculation very simple equals NPV open parentheses now the rate I'm going to use the real rate here comma and the value now here you select all of your cash flows however do not select the cash flows for period zero so all you want to do is select from period one to the end close parentheses and the reason you want to do that is because it's going to the NPV function will assume that the very first number is one year from today. So it's important to note that when you're using the regular NPV function, it assumes that uh, you get these cash flows at the end of a period and the first one would be at the end of the first period. So to account for the initial period, simply add cash flows from period 0 in after the NPV function. So when you do that, you'll get a net present value of 3.7472 million. And if you have all of these linked, you can simply change the inflation rate to say 4% and figure out what your NPV will be up here. Or, you know, make it zero so it'll equal the nominal rate and figure that out. Now, this is your basic MPV function. That's how you use it and it's pretty simple and uh, the big difference between this and the PV function is that these cash flows are not equal to each other so that's how you can use it and if you want to get this spreadsheet just download it from the site teachexcel.com